I'm Norm Augustine, and I'm an Eagle Scout. Scouting's been around America for 105 years now. 110 million boys have been members. Scouting's seen a lot of changes during that period of time, but one thing that hasn't changed is its constant commitment to helping young boys grow into being strong leaders. I've often said that I think I learned more about leadership from scouting and from sports than from anything else I've ever done. I'm not alone in that regard. Uh, over a third of the cadets at West Point are uh, former scouts. A third of our governors, a third of the members of our Congress are former scouts. And in fact, 180 of our astronauts are former scouts, including my friend Neil Armstrong, who's an Eagle Scout. I've traveled to 112 countries around the world. I've run into scouts uh, most everywhere I've gone. And as soon as you run into somebody who is a scout, uh, there's a little bit higher expectation from them. And if they happen to be an Eagle Scout, uh, as I was, and, uh, there's an immediate bond and a sense of trust. Uh, and I've seen that happen in so many environments, uh, all the way from a bellman that I met at the hotel in Cleveland to a bastard I've met around the world. My son was an Eagle Scout. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away when he was in his 30s. But some of my very best memories are spending time with him in scouting and from the things that we did that we learned in scouting that continued through the rest of his life. Uh, we rafted the Grand Canyon, uh, we dog sledded in Alaska, we traveled together in Antarctica, we even stood on the North Pole together. And a group of us cut a hole in the ice so that uh, my son and a few of his buddies could go swimming at the North Pole. Uh, I, di I didn't do that. But next week, I'm going to be camping in Colorado, about 10,000 feet altitude, uh, with my grandson, who is very close to having his Eagle Scout rank and uh, needs a little help with the camping area. Uh, you might ask, do I enjoy sleeping at night with a rock in my ribs after a meal of burned baked beans? Uh, and the answer is, no, I don't. And you might say, well, then why do people do that? And the best. Uh, I can say as a side little story. When I was Under Secretary of the Army, I was at Fort Bragg uh, visiting the 82nd Airborne Division, talking to a grizzled old soldier. And it turned out he had jumped out of airplanes over a thousand times. And we said to him, you sure must like to jump. And to our surprise, he said, no, I hate it. We said, well, why do you do it then? This is a volunteer outfit. And his answer was, because I like to be around the kind of people who do. And that's pretty much my feeling for scouting. But you know, scouting doesn't just happen. Scouting takes uh, the leadership and efforts and contributions of many, many adults. Some 22,000 volunteers today uh, support scouting with their time. Also, many volunteers support scouting with their financial uh, resources. And this is also essential, and it's particularly true today in the area of endowment. No organization, no private organization, can expect to survive and prosper for long without a strong endowment. Scouting is no different in that regard. So today there's a major campaign underway to build Scouting's endowment. Over the years, my wife and I have tried to be generous with Scouting, both in terms of our time and our, our money. And frankly, I think it's been one of the best investments that I've ever made. And how could it be anything else uh, when you're investing in the young people that will be the leaders of our nation in the future?